this is one of our typical stretcher ambulances. It's got all the kit that we need to do our day-to-day -day work. We've got all of our response gear that we can grab quickly. This is what we need for most of our patients. The rest of the cupboards are full of some of our specialist gear as well as backup stock. We've got our stretcher. So this is our multi-purpose vehicle. Uh, this is used for transporter patients who might exceed the limits of our standard ambulances. There's only one of these in the ACT. It's got a larger stretcher, a larger wheelchair, um, some extra lifting devices, and obviously it's a lot bigger space to work in. So this is our four-wheel drive vehicle. We use this for remote area work. We saw a lot of action in the 2019-2020 bushfires. Uh, it's got all the same gear of a normal ambulance, just in a more compact form. Um, we've got some backpacks which mean that we can hike in to uh, see any patients who we can't drive to see. It's also got your normal four-wheel drive recovery uh, gear. The staff who are allowed on this get some extra driver training in how to operate in remote conditions. Um, it's a bit tight, but we make it work. So this is one of our single response units. This is staffed by a single paramedic. Uh, it's a bit smaller, a bit quicker, able to get through heavy traffic. Uh, again, it has all of the equipment of a normal ambulance, just in a more compact form. Um, so this allows our staff to get there quickly and start treatment while they're waiting for a stretcher vehicle.